What's up, y'all? And thanks for rolling with the Benzes. So today we're going to talk to y'all about how we feel about breakups, letting go, and moving on. I kind of feel like breakups can be kind of separated into two segments because you have like your breakup, you have your people who break up in their relationship all the time and no, they ain't really going nowhere and post it all over social media and make their relationship a joke. But then you have your people who don't know when to break up with a bad mate. True. So, breakups. My motto on breakups is break up or shut up. That's a good one. That's how I feel. Cause don't nobody want to keep hearing about that shit. That's true. And I get it. Like my best friend probably is like, oh, that's your motto. <laughs> Oh, for real. <laughs> I'm one, like, let me be going through something in a relationship. I'm calling my best friend. We're talking about all of it, everything, all the time, every day, everything that happens. <laughs> I'm texting her. But as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that the importance of keeping your relationship business to yourself. Yeah. Like, it's one thing to vent to your people and get it off your chest, but to just make that part of your daily routine is that you report everything that's going on to your friends or whatever your family well and i remember finding myself in the same situation <clears throat> with my best friend where i would complain to her on almost a daily basis about everything that ashley did that i didn't like and it was a while before i realized that it really was just making the relationship worse because i was dwelling on and like stewing on and like kind of having the the fire fueled um just just really just going over everything that she did and how i didn't like it and like her and i had basically bonded on um relationship issues so we both had to step out of that and we have much more meaningful conversations now <laughs> that we don't talk, we don't bash all day. <laughs> well, I think that it is necessary to get it out. But yeah, you need to have a safe person to talk but to. But I think that you need to talk to your partner first. Yeah. Because just talking about it to your friends, it don't do nothing. It doesn't fix anything. Like, yeah, you feel better because you talked about what happened and how they bothered you and how they did this and how dare them, whatever it is. But nothing's resolved and none of those emotions, like one thing, my best friend is an advice, relationship advice person. So <laughs> relationship need, advisor. If you need an advisor, <laughs> I'll hook you up with my best friend. Cause she, she gave me that game for real. But sometimes we talk about it and she'd say, well, stop telling me everything because you're gonna lose the emotion and how you feel about it. By the time you talk to her, it's gonna be dead. Like. You're gonna tell me everything and by the time you get to her, you're just repeating a story that you told me. So like you have more emotion if you just speak directly to that person and just tell them how you feel. Uh, another thing about breakups, every time you fight, you don't have to break up. No, like, it's unnecessary. That's annoying. And that's one thing that we've done pretty well. Even in the beginning stages of our relationship, like we didn't break up after every fight. I was leaving mostly. <laughs> yeah, this nigga was leaving. I was not any time we got in a fight, but we wasn't breaking up though. I was leaving. <laughs> that shit's annoying. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. And like <clears throat> looking back on it, like it really, especially if you air that to the world or even to your family, it just makes your relationship not look solid. And another thing about breakups or venting, like you need to have like that one solid person that you can talk to about your relationship but i remember talking to my family members about it and then all that would do was make it really awkward for ashley to come around because i had my family all up in our business and so that was a lesson for me was especially when you extra dramatic mm -hmm. so like you feel in some type of way and yeah. it's all so dramatic and all you putting extras on it and it's just because you're in your feelings mm -hmm. so you might as well just skip that part yeah. I'm a very private person, so I've only ever always just told my best friend. And she's always, we're both Scorpios, so that's really all I needed was 
Me and my best friend. Well, my girlfriend. Oh, my wife. I got three. <laughs> you wish you had three. <laughs> I'll punch you off the bed. <laughs> uh, so. You wish you had three? Nah, you said that. I didn't say that. Well, you went along with it. So, if you're both adults and you're both really serious about the relationship and where the relationship is going, but you can't get the other person to understand or see things from your point of view, uh, it's really helpful to go and speak to a professional if you need to. Like, if you really want your relationship to work, sometimes having that outside opinion is really all you need. And, like, some skills. Like, it's they'll give out, you... It's, it's a different outlook and mm -hmm. it's non-biased. It's non-biased and, like, they can give you some skills to help the situation not go so far next time. And so, like... Don't be afraid to tell your partner like, hey, we can't we can't resolve this between you and I because I don't think that you're right and you won't budge on being right. So let's let's go talk to someone and let's figure out how we can make this relationship work for both of us with this issue. If you have a good therapist and somebody's on some bullshit, they gonna call you on it. They gonna be like, that's bullshit. That no. You can't expect anyone to be okay with that. You can't expect anyone to tolerate that. And then that allows that person to be like, okay, I'm check. Slap in the face. Reality mm -hmm. check. So, okay, that's my take on breakups where you're not going nowhere anyway. So yeah. just chill out. Chill out. Work it out. Shut the hell up. Like, mm -hmm. seriously, shut up. If you know you're not going nowhere, then maybe just tell your people, your friend, whoever, like, I just want to vent. Yeah. But don't be like, oh, I'm leaving or I'm doing mm -hmm. this or I'm doing that. Like, don't do that. Basically, not everything needs to be talked about. You don't need to discuss everything. Some things don't need to be talked about. Some things are just simple. Just get, over get over it. Adjust a little bit and you don't have the problem anymore. On the other hand, when you're done, it's a process and we all know it's a process, mm -hmm. but like go with the process like, and trust life you just gotta take that chance and you gotta let it go in some end of relationships or situationships or whatever there's like a lot of attachments but mm -hmm. like those can drag on forever you just gotta cut the ties you have to you gotta cut the ties me I can't talk to you like there's no in between there's no gradually whatever it's like all right you gotta go here's your shit let me get my shit and that's it well and that's that's like one of the biggest things especially like with with uh with women is like we we love so hard and so when it is time to really go your separate ways you want to be friends with someone or you still want to talk to someone and like it, it doesn't work you can't do that no, you can't. It's it, that it's never going to work that way. Like you can't be friends with that person, and like that person can't be contacting you and calling on you for for stuff. If you guys aren't going to be in a relationship, maybe come six or seven months down the line, y'all can form a relationship that's not based out of love. But you can't. And one thing you really, really can't do is think you're going to keep having sex with that person, and you're going to get over that person. Cause you ain't about to keep having sex and then just oh no feelings though like no you already have feelings for that person so the sex has to go if you're gonna try to have another relationship that whole friend of my ex thing mm -hmm. that ain't gonna work and if it does work it's because the other person doesn't really take you that serious in the first place because being besties with your ex is like you what are you what are you holding on to like what yeah that but, i mean y'all how do y'all feel about that being friends with your ex because some people are cool with it and yeah and it works for some people but that shit don't work for me no it don't work for me either because there's especially not in a marriage there like, was something there at one point well not even that part but it's just like why yeah like it, I, I i that's with me it's not that oh you guys still have something going on it's like why am I here? You can have your friend. Or why, why don't y'all work it out? What's yeah, y'all want to be friends so bad. Like, why can y'all be such good friends when I'm in a relationship with you, but when y'all had y'all's chance, it didn't work out? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not really with that shit, so. No, I'm not. I'm I mean, not I, I, if I'm dating you or something, 
which that's been crushed. I'll never date again, but. And like she said, I'm not really feeling you like that. You can be friends with whoever yeah, you do. Whatever you want. Okay. Two, three, four, five, if you but yeah, people crazy with that. That like, well, we're just such good <clears throat> friends. Yeah, no. Oh, so that kind of leads into the letting go part. Like, mm -hmm. it's hard to let go of shit, especially when you're used to it. Like, I have a friend right now who's going through a breakup of six years, and even though as, as the years went by, like, she can get boring or whatever, and it's just like, damn, I'm over this. When that time really comes, it's different. Yeah. You just feel like different. you feel different. Both when it, people. Yeah, when it's real and it's really over, it's like, damn, and it hurts. Even you could not be feeling that person for the last whole year. And you could be planning on leaving that person. But then when it really happens, it's sad. Yeah. And it sucks sad. and it's hard. But you got to It's like a rebirth. Well, and I think the biggest, one of the biggest lessons that I've learned just in life, not really with like a breakup or anything, but it's like, you have to feel whatever emotion it is that's going to come with that. Because if you just try to stuff it and just be strong and like, I don't care, I'm just going to do me and I'm not going to worry about it. Like, you're not ever really going to let it go because you're not ever really allowing it to, to touch you. Like emotions are energy in motion so you have to allow the emotion to move through you so that could mean crying and being sad but like it'll go away and when it goes away you'll actually be healed it won't be something that you stuffed down so far that the next time you get into a relationship you got these issues surrounding like well are we gonna break up in six years or, or when are you gonna leave i can't take this seriously like so you have to really deal with it and give yourself the time to really deal with it like if you want to have fun and stuff you know do that but don't go hopping right back into another relationship unless you just really happen to just find the one one of the things about like when you find the one like one of the easiest ways to like really know like this is something that's really worth my effort and my my all is does that person challenge you to be better not to be not to like live up to their expectation or or be a certain person for them but like do they want you to be a better person for you like are they encouraging you like hey you know you say you love to write like we should go do this thing with your writing or you know you're really good you're really good at this like we should figure out how we can get your work out there um and like really challenging you to push yourself to be better not better for them better for you and then that's kind of how you know like okay if if i take this seriously like we can push each other and we can really build something amazing because we're both challenging each other to be better versions of ourselves and that was one thing that i caught on with ashley pretty soon like pretty early i was real damaged but like i caught on to that pretty quickly like this is somebody that I could actually like build something with. Like this is someone who has stuff to teach me, someone who who wants me to grow and be better. Um, <laughs> and so I'm glad that I was only half stubborn, and I like just kind of pushed her and then I pulled her, pushed her and I pulled her. Shit, I was on my way out. No, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> I think creating new habits helps because you get so used to like being with that person, seeing them every day, the routine you guys have. So it's like you got to get your own routine and you got to do it fast because yes. it's easy to just lay around, mope yes. around, feel sick. The first thing that happens to me is I get a stomach ache when I'm going through shit. I get a stomach ache and I want to lay in the bed. See, and what I do is I wake up in the morning and I tell myself I'm fine. And I'll like go work out and I'll sing happy songs and I will try to fool myself into thinking that I'm fine and that usually I can usually do that for like a solid two weeks and then it finally kind of hits me that letting go I'm kind of good at letting go because I'm not good at forgiving yeah <laughs> No, so you so cut like, off. You did something. It's gone. It's done. <laughs> like, it's done. And that's that was the thing I was always scared of with her because she was so reluctant to everything. And I was just like, all right, when I make that decision and I'm like done and I don't have any more effort to give or any more nothing, like that's it. I'm done. And then it's going to be too late. 
but luckily she Moving on to me doesn't really have to even be like a relationship. It's just like Moving I said, new that. habits, new beginning, fresh start. Move on. You got to get over it. Yes. That's my biggest thing. It's like you got to get over shit. If you don't get over that shit, it, it owns you. And moving on also has a lot to do with like letting go of the drama that's attached. So that means don't go check their Facebook. Don't go stalking their Instagram or their new girl's Instagram or none of that because you're just going to make yourself mad. Mm -hmm. And so why, like, if you really want to let go and you really intend on moving on, then just, just don't do any You gotta make a decision. That's one thing I'm big on, like, with self is, like, you have to make the decision within yourself. Yes. Like, when I knew I was going to ask her to marry me, it was like I made the decision, like, Okay, like you have to be faithful now. You have to be honest. You you have to do these things that are different because this is a whole new like this is a marriage. Like you make that decision and you hold yourself accountable to it. Like if you're done, you're done. You don't you don't like she said, you don't look at their Facebook, you don't call them when you miss them. You no. you fight that shit. You got to and it's not easy. So when you want to call them, you call your best friend. Who do you miss, girl? Like you know, people be breaking up, and then they they have their little like weak moment. Mm -hmm. where, where they, they get just drunk and they want to call or text or especially the thing that I never really understood though is mostly like why are you still talking to their family? Oh my god! Yeah, cut it off. Like, like I've seen a meme before, and it's petty, but I feel like it's pretty serious to me is if we break up you broke up with my family mm -hmm. we're all breaking up <laughs> you don't need to talk to my family no more and I'm petty enough to say that I might trip on my family for talking to you <laughs> I might be mad at my family mm -hmm. because what business like that's because they just can't let go they're dangling by a little string like I guess it's petty but, I guess but even with that like you gotta let people be where they are, and if they yeah. petty, they just petty. Yeah. Just step over them on your way up. Yeah. My thing is like, so if you are moving on from somebody and somebody is won't leave you alone, you can block the person, and if they continue reaching out in other ways, change your phone number. Like, if you're really serious about it, change your phone number. And if they're reaching out to your family and your family's like hitting you up, like, oh, hey, so-and-so called me, check your family member and just tell your family member, I don't want to hear about it. So don't call me. Don't tell me nothing about what that person said. If you want to keep talking to that person, then that's you. But don't be don't be relaying no messages over here. I'm over it. I'm done. And like just really just completely remove that person from your entire life. Like get rid of pictures and like all that. Like get it. rid of all of it. They don't like it, but that's why you got to make the decision, know what you what you decided and move along. So the most important thing in moving on from a toxic relationship or a relationship that you're that you don't know you don't think is going anywhere is how are you going to find your soulmate or the person you're meant to be with if you're still feeding in and playing with this drama situation over here? That ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. I told my friend, so I said, you know, she had been in this relationship for six years. And I asked her just straight up, like, so do you feel like you've grown in those six years? And she said no. And, like, that's a big red flag. Like, if you haven't grown in the relationship, if somebody, if you can be with somebody and y'all are both comfortable or happy enough, happy enough that you just stay where you guys are at, mm -hmm. it's just not a good situation. And y'all might be in love and you might be happy, but growth is important. Like... Yes. You cannot just be the same person for six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. So shout out to the homie because your new life is about to start and it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. Well, and when you really take care of yourself and like you you focus on yourself and get you together, like when someone does come <clears> along, <throat> like you you have a better odds of attracting a better person because if you want to if you want a butterfly, you have to be a butterfly. Ain't nobody who has their life together going to come and mess with somebody who doesn't because it, it doesn't. Well, they sense. might. They, they might. Go back but to their wife at the end. Yeah, of the day. you know what I mean. Because because why? You look like a side chick. You act like a, you gonna be a side chick. Yeah. 
And so the people are like, in order to date me, you have to have this, 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 and this. Well, make sure you got all that stuff first. Anyway, y'all, uh, let us know what y'all think. Anything, even if you don't agree, we here to have a discussion. We ain't saying this is law. We are interested in what you guys think too. And like we said, we're open to different outlooks and y'all should be too because something that y'all say might change something that we really feel strongly about or think. So hit that like button if you want to see more advice videos or discussions, have more advice discussions with us. And if you have a particular topic that you want us to cover, put then that the put that in the comments and, and turn them notifications on. Notification gang! Notification gang, where y'all at? We're gonna give out a shout out real soon. So put them notifications on and comment done. Actually, we will do a shout out on the next video. Okay. Yeah. We just have to remember. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead and uh go ahead and turn notifications on, comment done, and we will shout you out in our next video. We'll pick three people. Aha. Thanks for rolling.